Wunderbar! What are you doing? Our stupid ASMR. You know what this is? You're right, she should recognize that. Oh, maybe not, because... It's a poop bag. Yeah, it's a poop bag. For when I go on walks alone, and I'm overcome with the urge to poop, I carry them just in case so that I can, on the public streets... Why do you have your pills in a poop bag? Ask Lisa Rinna. She'd understand. I don't know who the fuck that is. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Lisa Rinna. No. You don't know who Lisa Rinna is? <gasps> Lisa, Lisa Rinna. Rinna is my spirit animal. You don't know who Lisa Rinna is? No. Wow. Then ring a bell in the slide. This is these are my this is my zinc, vitamin D, and vitamin B complex. I gave your mom some vitamin D. I bet you did, Corbin Miles. Thanks. So glad she's already gone through menopause. That way you won't be related to me. Welcome back. Today, we got a uh, video from uh, Watch Mojo. They did top 10 greatest cricket matches of all time. We'll be the judge of that. Exactly. A especially just from the highlights. How dare you even think to come up with a video that says the greatest without consulting us first? <laughs> We've watched a total of like three games. Who was it that was talking to us about cricket? It was somebody from Berlin. And we were we, we immediately... <laughs> Made oh. it very clear. Uh, yeah, no, we don't have it. Was it Ish Ishwak? Ishwak, right? Ishwak. Yeah, it was Ishwak. He started talking to us about. You know what? I, among the many things, I, I I could talk for thirty minutes just about Rahul Bose's experience as a rugby captain. Man, I learned that during the interview. Yeah, that that <laughs> man. Anyway, man, again, hopefully, again, we get to we get to have a chance to talk with him for, and do so for yeah, a, our, a lot our, longer. Our normal amount of time. Yeah. Um, all right. So anyways, top so, ten greatest cricket matches of all time. Um, who would it be in football? You talking American football? Yeah. Like NFL? Yeah. Oh. Some people might include one that I, I, I will not include at all. What? The Falcons Super Bowl. No, no, that don't, that wasn't. Because. That was a great comeback, but it wasn't a great match. Um, I. The one that immediately comes to mind is is the 49er game where he he throws it into the end zone and uh, that happens he, almost every game. Yeah, shut up, <laughs> Joe Montana. Yeah, yeah. I remember the uh, the, the, the ice bowl is the, pretty legendary. I remember the one where Brett Favre's dad died like the, day the yeah before. the day before he threw for like 500 yards. And the, the a lot of people would say uh, Joe Namath's. Yeah. declaration that we're going to win it and they did the um, Jets. so if this is completely and utterly wrong i'm sure most people <laughs> won't agree with everybody else's top 10 list of greatest cricket games wait are you list? saying that cricket fans are passionate no uh let us know what your top 10 should be and why this list is bullshit bakwas! <laughs> one of my favorite indian words is bakwas. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down. Wow, I didn't. See a I lot expected of games. more games. Hey, we're counting down our picks for the top ten greatest cricket matches of all time. <laughs> for this list, we're looking at the games that have attained legendary status in this global sport. This includes matches from every format. So we're talking T20s, ODIs, and tests. Ah, oh, good. Which cricket match do you think stands the test of time? Yeah, uh, let, let me tell you. The uh, legacy game. For a chance to win cash. <laughs> I think one of the most amazing cricket matches was when Jiminy was in the water with Monstro. 8 p.m. Eastern, only at watchmojo.com. I mean, play. what an underdog. Shut Number up. 10, Australia versus England. The Ashes, third test, Headingley. This is the Those are all that words. <laughs> into an Ashes legend. This third Not test. Not only did England achieve their highest successful chase, third game, but they did England. so after being bundled out for just 67 Ooh. runs in their first inning. This combination is Australia themselves recovered from low totals to set England a target that seemed out of reach. To How many? Credit, nobody could have seen Stokes coming, who appeared like a man possessed. 
What the crap? How many did he score? He, do you see what he did? Yeah. But how many did he score? I don't know. All I know is he was batted left-handed and he just switched mid bowl. Whoa. Roars from the Headingley crowd as England dared to dream. Cricket fans are like, yeah, people do that all the time. Unimaginable soon became a reality. Although both teams deserve praise for putting on an absolute classic. Cut away! Cut away for four! What an innings! What a play! Ooh. Number nine, England versus West Indies, ICC T20 World Cup Final. At their T20 peak, there was no team who could contend with West Indies' explosive playing style. Look to good shot, might go straight to the field, it does! And there's the problem. <laughs> However, a late attack down the order allowed England to set up a competitive total. We saw West Indies in uh, Florida. Thanks to Marlon Samuel's tenacity good memory. with the bat, yeah. the all-rounder kept his team in the hunt. Still, sharp English bowling at the death forced the Windies to get 19 off the final over. It's gone a long way up, and the plan could work. Midon sets himself. Ow. It's to root, would you believe it? Carlos Brathwaite then turned this final into a night to remember. With power hitting that's still hard to believe, the batsman belted all four of Ben Stokes' deliveries for six. Having remained a step ahead until then, the shell-shocked English players could do nothing as Brathwaite brought West Indies to glory. She has a, uh, a talent of sounding so confident about something I'm sure she actually doesn't know Number about. Eight, India versus Australia. Second test, Kolkata. I'm sure her writers wrote it. no and better display just... of courage and determination than in this match. The mighty Australians showed why they were unbeaten for 16 matches straight by dominating India for half of the game. It's the drop. Opportunity was there. But an epic 376 run partnership between Rahul Dravid and BBS Lakshman turned it all around. The Indian batsman overcame the follow on and then some, piling on a mammoth 657 runs in reply. Lakshman, in particular, brought the fight to the fearsome bowling attack as he guided India to a match winning position. Lakshman, one run away from 150. No man closing catching the wall at the stage. And here it is. Once they'd lost control, the Australian batting lineup folded to Harbhajan Singh's spin. Whoa, making that's this a name. A test of two tails. Depending on each day, either team could have won. But it was India who ultimately ended Australia's winning streak. Suck it, Australians. <laughs> Go put some shrimp on a barbie, am I right? Australia versus South Africa. Wow, Australia's in this a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Semifinal. They must be pretty the good at cricket. The contest between two of the top teams in the world was always going to be evenly matched, although few expected so many twists and turns. Who's the other team? South Africa. South Africa. Australia and South Africa were neck and neck for the entire game, but the former were the ones to enter the final. Despite being restricted to a relatively small total, the Australians hit back to limit South Africa's run chase. Charging it up the hill. Oh, damn. Damn. Tias still kept themselves afloat to match the target, but anything less than a win meant they were out. It was so close, but so far. As Alan Donald Number one's probably going to be the game of Lagan. Hopes of a maiden World Cup final. It's a true story. Oh, that would have been out. Donald was backing up, and that would have been a tie. Can you believe that? I cannot believe it. Oh, no. Oh, damn. If you're a fan of South Africa, this tied match will still feel like the biggest defeat. Number six, India versus Pakistan. Well, that's, the ICC T20 World That's Cup every India-Pakistan match. An India-Pakistan match without heart-pumping moments? Certainly not in arguably the greatest T20 ever played. Pakistan bossed India around for most of the match, scoring a respectable total before tearing through India's top order. Oh, damn. That was like only one man stood between Pakistan and victory, Virat Kohli. The Indian batsman held his wicket right until the also end, known as and then unleashed a flurry of attacks that no bowler could counter. Goes down the ground. Goes out of the ground. And just like that, it was Pakistan who lost their footing. Eventually, even fate seemed to be on India's side. Everything from umpire decisions to Kohli's hits went their way, leaving Pakistan stunned. No T20 game has ever seesawed to this extent, and no matter which team you support, 
it gave fans all of their money's worth. You could probably say the boys played well, am I right? Yep. You know, they just Number played. Five, Did you hear what Australia you Australia I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Ashes' second test edge basta. Here's a match that ebbed and flowed with... Australia seems to be in a lot of these. Days. In the end, <laughs> the difference was just two runs. After giving away a massive lead, Australia were heading towards certain defeat. There's a big shout. He's going. It's the big shout. He's going. It's the big shout. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. They did lose, but it was touch and go for both Do you think sides. they ever get sweaty in those sweater vests? Australia's uh, yes. Inning. The latter bowled their rivals out quickly in their second. The England team was denied by Australia's tailenders, who were close to scripting an unlikely win. He had to go for the catch, tantalizingly up in the air, but the facts are that it's a run and Australia need 14. Deliberate shot from Kasperovic. Jones diving oh. forward. Got both hands to it, but couldn't hold on. But this attritional battle came down to Andrew Flintoff's heroics. The all-rounder complimented his mastery with the bat to finish the match with the ball. Damn. With five days of riveting competition, this was test cricket at its best. Number four. New Zealand versus South Africa. I love me some New Zealand. Cricket World Cup first semifinal. Neither the Proteus nor the Kiwis had ever been in a World Cup final, so there was all to play for. Grant Elliott turned out to be the deciding factor with an absolute scorcher of an innings. And some straight. Damn, that's a good shot. South Africa gave it their all with the ball and bat, piling on a big score with limited overs in hand. But Elliot was not going to be denied that night, as the batsman found one boundary after another. Elliot crunches it over cover. It was down to the last over when Elliot unleashed another ferocious assault before sealing it with a six. Cricket fields are large. A walk off. Another World Cup semi-final. Another South Africa defeat. But the sheer quality delivered by the teams made everyone on the field a champion in spirit. Number three, England versus New Zealand, the ICC Cricket World Cup final. New Zealand and England, vying to win their first world championship, brought their A game. Everything from free Is that Lords to that they're playing incredible at? strokes of luck were on display. I do not know. Oh my goodness. Damn. That's a that was fast. That was a wild, Having wild been limited four. To a below average score. The Kiwis refused to go down without a fight. There's not a better Netflix name for people than the Kiwis. Trump card by getting his team to the like it's the best name for a group of people. The final showed why cricket is a team game, as every player on either side contributed. Slow ball. Now then, now then, it's Trent Bolt again. Is this it? Is this it? Oh! To Way to be there. Two teams that the winner was decided by boundary count. For New Zealand, boundary it was count. a gut-wrenching result since they What's a boundary? Ba I have so many questions. Is that like so. kickoff? I mean, um, um, I um, have penalty kicks? No idea. Overall, though, this was perfect edge-of-your-seat entertainment that ranks as the best World Cup final ever played. Number two, Australia versus South Africa. Australia. Fifth ODI, Johannesburg. Good eye, Mike! No team had ever made over 400 in an ODI. By the end of this match, that record was broken twice. Oh, jeez. the series decider, Ricky Ponting led from the front, hammering 164 to lead us. I hammered your mom from is the that, Yeah, is that different than leading from the back? Yes. What does what does leading from the front mean? Those they were the first to bat. Africa were out had seen nothing yet. With Herschel Gibbs cutting loose, the batsman overtook Ponting to score a remarkable 175. Whoa. That seems like a lot. Yeah, I, I do know that a century is a lot. He nearly yeah. got two centuries. The South Africans' deep batting lineup kept pounding boundaries all around. Yeah. But you like to pound batteries. Oh, I do. Down to the last wicket and the last over. But the Proteus rode hometown momentum to score the winning runs. Before 
before T20s were common, this match set the high-octane, no-holds-barred standard that cricket thrives on today. Before we unveil our top pick... We all we all know who legends. number one is, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. First test, Chennai. Pakistan conjured a breathtaking victory despite such and Tendulkar's century. India versus Sri Lanka, the first ODI, Rajkot. The Lankans fell agonizingly short of 414. And India I won! India versus Pakistan, the ICC All the honorables are India. Cup final. A mistimed scoop lost Pakistan the match and made India the first T20 world champions. In the end, Srishan takes it! India win! England versus West Indies, ICC Champions Trophy final. It's funny, NFL players spike the ball. Cricket players throw it into the sky. Yeah. Never before. Oh, beautiful shot. Let's go. Graham Wallace. What a victory. What a magnificent victory for the West Indies. Bangladesh versus India, Nidahas Trophy final. Dinesh Kartik snatched victory at the last moment. This ball to fight you need it. He's gone for it. That's going to be a super over. Damn. It has. This is unbelievable from Dinesh Kartik. That's a six. One of the flattest sixes you'll ever see in your life. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe. That's a weird Ronald McDonald. Ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. Hi. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one. India versus Pakistan. How many India Australia versus Pakistan Cup matches are there? Oh, 86. I was wondering. Oh, it's 86. Yeah, I was wondering where the heck is 86. I at least know that. With the perfect finale. Arch rivals India and Pakistan have faced off. When Ranveer won it. Yep. Amazing how long he's been around. They could go for the second. And the team is coming back, but it is feeling it could be a pass. The two teams brought different strategies to the match, ranging from India's controlled aggression to Pakistan's mercurial mentality. It was India's batting against Pakistan's bowling, as players like Sunir Gavaskar and Wasim Akram clashed. Still, all 100 overs led to the last delivery. India needed one wicket. What's the difference Pakistan between overs and innings? Delivery. Ultimately, Javed Miadad immortalized himself by launching the ball. But also, this wasn't the, 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 the world the championship this is india pakistan it's in 86 no that was 83 that we're thinking of the wild scenes that it is oh yeah we're done put into words. yeah sorry but according to Miadad himself but we have seen a movie about 86 was 83. no it was 96 god oh. <laughs> yeah it was 83 yeah we were wrong Whoa. Did you enjoy this video? That guy hit somebody. These other clips from I did not Marvel. forget that movie. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Do you know what movie that is? No. Brave Little Toaster. Never seen it. Classic 90s. Um, yeah, so I, I totally agree with all of them. <laughs> it's hard, obviously. It's good to know about it, and also we barely know about it because we thought that last one was yeah the the one from 83, and then I was like, wait, no, wait, that no, was actually no, 83, actually not 83, 86, not 86. also they didn't play Pakistan in the championship. I'm pretty sure they played West Indies, right? Wasn't it? I don't remember. Wasn't that uh, West Indies in and, the finals? I mean, and we know maybe 15 to 10 to 15 percent of the game. The rest of it is still okay. no idea. Like I, many of you probably laughing. I don't know the different. I don't know the difference between innings and overs. I don't know how they differentiate well, between only... one league versus another. An over versus. Is the stuff that's are all happened. test matches the same? There's only at least in T20. There's only two innings. The, I didn't know when, that. Well, yeah, you do. When the the offense plays, mm -hmm. and then they play until they uh, are fully out, right? Which is an over. So whenever somebody gets out, it's an over, and then whenever somebody gets out, it's an over. <sighs> I'm gonna stop explaining stuff. Um, <laughs> no, I do know because I mean, you know this because we've seen games. India will bat right until they're completely Done. out. They get they go through their lineup. The second inning is when the other team bats. That's not the top of the first inning and then the bottom of the second inning. There's no inning. In innings. I don't think they call them innings either. Did yeah, you, did she, she, she them said innings. innings. Uh, yeah, I think it's just the... Uh... And I would imagine overs are synonymous with an overtime. So, for example, if you go through your normal innings, 
you go through overs, but I, that could be wrong as well. Maybe an over has to do with when your team is up. You, is it is it comparable to? It's not timed like football, where you yeah. go into extra time based on the the timeouts and the injuries and all that stuff, where they add the time on the back end of it. I'm talking soccer. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's some of the and I and it seems the the rules and the length of the game change depending upon league. So that's where I get very confused. It's because you're an idiot. Yep. <laughs> get wrecked. Yep. Uh, I am not confused at all. Yeah, you understand. All I understand. I understand it all. Thing. And I, I've watched you, every single one of these games. You might not know it. Corbin's written a book about cricket. That's true. Yeah. It's called Cricket. It's called Everything I Know About Cricket, and there's nothing on the pages. Wrong. I just put Sachin Tendulkar on every page. He is cricket. Hmm. So can you say anything other than that? I can't. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if this list is moronic and bakwats, <laughs> um, <laughs> let us know that's why. That's going to be, that's the word of the week, kids. Why it's bakwats. <laughs> and what are Open the Open a actual... restaurant with that name. Oh, bakwats. bakwats. <laughs> no, bakwats. Oh, bakwats. Yeah, you were saying uh, bakwats. No, bakwats. Bakwats. B a k w a s, I think, bakwats. which means um, I I don't I know the literal definition, but it's like stupid. Um, Are bakwats reactions technically? Yeah, I'm sure people have called us that before. Oh, uh, we've been called many things before, Corbin. Um, like st stupid. Um, Idiotic or what? Yeah, I don't know the exact, but it means something like that. Got it. Um, I've heard, it's one of my favorite words to hear in films. Copy, uh, copy. Yeah, I love hearing, especially when somebody's talking fast. Yeah, and they say copy, copy over and over and over again. Bakwas. Um, any cuss words? But there's, I feel like there's a word that I, I always confuse because I think I, in like commercial films, I feel like I've heard them say Ben Chot many times. Yeah, there's and another like, word. I don't think I don't in this think commercial film right. you just said Ben Chot. Exactly. No, there is another one that's pretty, uh, pretty so close. It, it must be something. So, Anyways, anyway, let us know uh, about uh, the actual games if it's uh, if there's other videos on them that can give us Especially a little more in depth of why learning, they're so amazing learning videos. Uh, but this is a an American channel, so if it is Bakwas, please let us know down below. Just...